Hey, people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 5 of Raincoat Blind. Last time, everyone on the train except Yuma has been murdered. They've all been burnt to death. There's a bunch of fires that apparently went on. And, well, we're now investigating. So let's continue. Yeah, everyone's dead. Okay. Connecting door. It says main control room B. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Hey, Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Aphex and Poochie both said that there were only six people on the train. So, including me, there can only be six And we know that there aren't robots! We don't know if there are robots! Hmm, I see. Oh, why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car, too. Okay, connecting door. Open. But this is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from How do we know? There could be a secret train car. There could be a secret six tr train car that we don't know about. Okay. No, no, the medical ward. There are medical devices here, just like those in car one. Hey, this train is unmanned, right? If there's no one on the train who knows how to use this sort of device, why even have one? How do we know that there aren't robots designed to basically be deployed? This is so good. There's an AED set in the infirmary, but there's no sign it was used. <laughs> no point in using it on someone already burned to a quiz. <laughs> Ben, the infirmary is burnt and flipped on its side. Hmm? Why is only this bed turned over like this? Hmm. Maybe it's hard to hide evidence of some kind. Just a hunch. Okay. Door key. Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Look, there appears to be blood on it. Hmm? Oh, you're right. Let me try to slide it. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Sure hope you got all that down. Okay, anything else? Okay, yeah, we already checked that. Okay, what's well, that behind this one? The restroom is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked and covered in soot. There's no one inside. Yeah, but we should still investigate. Okay, the paper towels were unscathed. Anything else? Anything else we can search? Okay, apparently nothing. Okay. Huh? That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there! There are traces of something that got burned. Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? But why is this the only one completely burnt? It doesn't seem particularly flammable. Okay, it's just, it says that there's something else here. There are other places to check out, you know. Yes, yes, I was going sure. to check out. Yeah, that's right. Yes, they, yeah, you love it when we're obedient. Just, you love it when we're subservient to you. It's a map of the train. Okay, control room A, control room B. It says, main control room A. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The 
The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead! Yeah, for all we know, the killer could just be some robots that the train has to basically keep things maintained. It, basically, we could just be seeing a bunch of Kibos around. Kibos and the Roombas. Yeah, Shinigami's giving us bad, is being a bad influence. There's something wrong with me. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously. I... We are approaching the Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Okay. No conclusion. And I forgot to turn the timer on. Hooray. Okay, how long have we been recording at Curiosity? Six minutes. Okay, not too bad. We're actually gonna have to run. Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Run to front train car. Why is this happening to me? Okay, at least we don't have to run. They're coming in. We gotta go. I wonder if Master. Danger dodge. Okay, now we got God of War quick time events. You might find yourself in a pinch before the course of you might find yourself in a pinch during the course of detective work. Follow the on-screen instructions to get out of those tricky situations. Okay, now that, that now that I think about it, this game does remind me very much of a combination between the main series Danganronpa games and Ultra Despair Girls, basically. Yeah, now that I think about it, basically, Yuma's controls feel very similar to Kamaru's. But there's a time limit on the input, so be careful. We get restrained by these guys with the weird blue masks. Seriously, the masks do not blend in, do not coordinate well with the outfits. Okay, let's see how, let's see if I can succeed. Who are these people? The police? They're not your friends, that much is for sure. Not like you, Shinigami. Oh no, we're gonna get a cover from some I made train murder. We're gonna become a statistic. Yuma can't survive in jail. Look at him. Yuma basically won't even last five minutes being thrown into the cell. Oh. Yeah, he clicked out of that. Hit him in the head with the fire extinguisher. Oh no, watch how my control my controller acts up on me as if it does a down or an up.
Okay, I somehow didn't fail the first quick time event. With with my luck, that would have been the case. I would have failed immediately. Many procs are in developments of which can't uh, cannot be made by public. Can be made public. I cannot talk today. Wait, please listen to me. I can explain. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't you? The frick is this? I'm Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation. Thief. You look like you're a pimp. Tarasu Corporation peacekeepers? Don't act like you don't know. You're a WDO detective for crying out loud. Yeah, he spreads the peace by smacking you down with a pimp cane and then throwing the coffee in your face. Or are you some sort of imposter? No, I'm not. I think. You think? Well, I don't care either. What's about to happen has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai War. The unjust wander into my space. You pimp them out? They will be eliminated. Eliminated? Hey, isn't Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? Oh, right. You're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh. Help me. I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. I'm sorry. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. You wanna explain things? How about you explain that comb over job? We prepared that to welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. No, Beat him, I really huh? don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. You can't fight. Look at him. He's on. He's borderline in tears. What's he gonna do? Cry on. Cry on this. Cry on Swank and cause his coat to rust. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed him. It's proof. There's the copy and why. We found coffee and wine in the dining room. And it was full of roofies! You roofied them! When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug is mixed in. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wow, he may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you to kill them like that. What's your end game in this? Is it money? Or is it money? Or is it money? If it's money, hand over everything you swipe. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. He just wants money. That's no fair. I'm not the culprit. What was your first clue, though? Basically, the old gold coat? Yes, you are. Or the grill that says money. No, I... 
I'm not the perpetrator. But do I know that for sure? This is clearly a cover job, Yuma! Seriously, this screams corporate cover-up! In this situation, who else besides me could The train? Be there were without a doubt only six people on the train. The train itself could have done it! Killed. So the only possibility The is... train! Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I the killer? Come on, confess! <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for no, now. No, we're not confessing! It could be better to get through this now and get some time to think about it. Yeah, think about it in a jail cell or knowing these guys, they're not gonna do a court of law. They're just gonna bludge us to death with those glowing lightsaber nightsticks. You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. There you go again, talking to yourself. Crazy or something. I hear your thoughts too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? Well, what are you? Mean. Shut up! Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Hey, bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. <laughs> oh, stop with all that pitiful moaning! I'll show you exactly what I'm made of right now! What the? Got Sailor Moon Transformation and all. What is this? What's happening? Can we just walk away? Okay, Rush Room Urban Legend. There's an urban legend about a locked door in the Rush Room on the express train. Knock on it. A specific rhythm and a phantom and a black cave will appear to kill any person one desires. What's this? What's going on? Ah, who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait, you're Shinigami? Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. Some parts of me are still nice and puppy. It's true. Wanna touch? Uh, okay. You must too pure for this. It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go! Wait, you have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? Yeah, for a second, I thought that shit got me. Said, "I'll tell you when you're older." <laughs> no, I'm not gonna save my current progress. I'll probably save after this episode when I stop my recording session. Avoid I may train corporation door security detective deed. Okay, direct. Forensic Forte.
Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe? You don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out! Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. It looks like some sort of haunted house you find in an amusement park. It materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? But here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway, Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? So are we investigating? Are we platforming? Are we answering riddles? Quick time events? There's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity, too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be, too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? So the labyrinth is going to throw obstacles as, as well. Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is going to be a tough battle. So are we going to fight charred corpses? So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep. Looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. I don't want to go into any dungeon <laughs> you're, be you're suggesting we go into. A mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yep, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! Jeez! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am! Okay, uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. Yeah, meanwhile, if Suichi or... Yeah, meanwhile, I could just imagine if Kyoko or Suichi were here, basically. Suichi, he would just be crying... He would just be crying on the ground. Meanwhile, Kyoko, she'd just be done. She'd be looking for the exit. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. Okay, yeah, there's the raunchy humor that we know and love. No, it won't! Please, explain everything now! Yuma is, like I said, Yuma is just too pure for this world. Relax. He's too pure for any world. I'll tell you in due time. Shinigami's gonna corrupt him by the end of the game. Come on, let's go! Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Let's see. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. 
It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. Here's your solution key! Okay! Okay, an operation log. So this is a solution key, but can we at least wash it off first? It come out of your mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. All right, I'll do my best. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. And who died first again? It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. How do we know that Zilch was the first to die? His body was the least charred when we first uncovered it, basically. So my guess is that the murders happened in the exact opposite order than what we're thinking, basically, with Aphex being the first to go, followed by the others down the road. But then again, just it could have happened really any order. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Hmm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. How Yuma lifted that fire extinguisher, I don't even know. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melanie's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. <laughs> that reminds me, something was off about car two, right before the train entered the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No, when we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else too, something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Oh yeah, wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. 
Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was, but the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. Yeah, though kind of odd how it's less charred, considering that basically it was all... Considering the fire and the sun and the like. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Yes, Apex was just rubbing himself on the wall. He wasn't stop dropping and rolling. He was just he was just ramming the wall. But it oh, kind of looked like a one to me. What on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the Peacekeeper's report, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. Yeah, because you're in the knife in Zilch. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining yeah, car. Yeah, you know, they were the ones who supplied the drinks. I think that's everything of note. <gasps> Seriously, we need to just get some oh, disinfectant. This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Okay, a solution key is a manifestation of clues rolling to a case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story sure along. Hope you got all that down. Acquiring solution keys can be acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking out if a mystery labyrinth becomes difficult to eh. Try checking one out if a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. But what about the mystery labyrinth? Okay, apparently we do have a stat build. So this is why Yuma looks like a wizard on the back of the game. Yeah, for a second though, I thought basically he was channeling his inner you his inner Himiko. Yeah, I will bestow upon you the great powers of my magic. Yeah, but only when I feel like it. You have to give me a piggy bag ride first, Yuma. Only through the piggy bag ride can you hate honors my power. Labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending SP points, which you get when you when your detective rank hey, increases. Master, do you need a power up? Labyrinth skills can be checked down acquired in the abilities section of the notebook. Set whichever skills suit you best. You can activate you can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost. So pay attention to how much you have left. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Can we spend some points? Okay. Profiles. Will things really turn out fine? Okay, can we set abilities? Okay, I don't know if there's going to be a time limit or how these things are going to happen. This looks like something you'd see out of a Persona game. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Yeah, though, I think that now would actually be a good time to end things off, because I don't know what's going to be happening here, and this could just evolve into some two-hour-long thing if I basically get carried away. So with that, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want, and with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.